Hello everyone, I'm Walton at Carp Gaming, and this is a tutorial on how to make a Roman house in Minecraft. Um, this is a very big house made of sandstone and brick uh, slabs and stairs. It's t 60 by 26, the uh, the base, so you're going to need a lot of sandstone. Uh, 11 stacks of sandstone, in fact, just to make the walls, the outer walls. So you're going to need a lot of sandstone if you're doing this in survival. If you're doing this in creative, um, then just follow along the tutorial. It should be alright. This is just because it's boring to watch building walls. Um, so I've got four high walls all the way around and then the layout of the house is as follows. You could take a screenshot of this and uh, and then like set it up next to you to what to look at while you're making the house. These two areas would be shops in a Roman house but here you could just use them as storage or something. This is the main entrance, it's just a nice fountain. These four rooms are bedrooms. Now bedrooms, uh, oh yeah, but you might not need four bedrooms so obviously you can make them into whatever you want. I suggest making one into a bathroom because Romans don't have bathrooms but you can have a bathroom in your Roman house if you want. This is the kitchen and then this is the storage so I'm guessing in the kitchen you can have furnaces and the storage you could just have your chests. This is for survival. Um, dining room here, study, garden, and then these two areas. One of them is a guest dining room, and the other is just like paintings and stuff. So I guess you could just make them more storage if you want. But anyway, let's get on with the building. So I will see you guys later. Okay, so all in here is make the little stands for the marketplace. So you could do whatever you want with these if you're on a multiplayer server, like perhaps put one of those little water channel mechanisms. They would just seal it up like this, and you, they could just throw the thing in the water, it'd come to you, and then you throw your thing. Or just throw it through the gap <laughs> if you wanted. Uh, but that's all I want to say, so back to the video. This actually uses quartz pillars and uh, that's just the recipe to make quartz pillars. Okay, so now that we've done the uh, walls, now we're just going to add some decoration and put the doors in.
Okay, so as you can see, I just went and did the roof. Uh, it was one block higher than the rest of the walls, so the walls are still four high. And uh, I just left a gap for the fountain in the garden, and now I'm just going to light the place up using the anvil in a uh, uh, item frame trick. Okay, so now that we're almost done with that, we're going to move on to the roof. And the roof design for Roman houses was kind of strange. You see, like, here we go, the roof slopes inwards. So you're just going to have to follow along. Uh, it uses mainly brick, pretty much all brick stairs. So if you just follow along, you should be alright. So here's where it kind of gets tricky, because what I'm doing is sorting out all the bits where the roofs join, but it's not an exact stair to stair. And what I normally do is the outer stair just goes above, so it's like a flat wall, and you should see a screenshot where this is just what it'll look like, and uh, that's just how Roman houses were designed. You can also you can always change it with a slab if you want it to look that way, but this is just how the Romans did it and this is just how I'm going to do it.
So because the roof is so massive, you're going to have to light up or fill in the underneath of it to stop mobs from uh, spawning. Obviously you can use torches, but I just use glowstone because it's easier. Now that the roof is done, we can move on to the decoration of the insides. Now, I've slowed this bit down a bit because it's a bit harder to follow along and it's really fast. And I'm just adding in some general furniture that you can do with Minecraft. So, it's just giving you a few ideas of what you can put in your house. I do actually decide to make this uh, fourth bedroom into a bathroom, so in this we've also got some bathroom furniture, just giving you ideas for what to put in your house. room is storage with chests and look like it was uh, the perfect layout for Rosa's chests and what will see me do in a minute is replace these sandstone blocks with stairs because you can still open chests when the stairs above them and you can also still open them when there is fences above them. Now we're just going to add some garden decoration. This 
is not set at all. You can put whatever you want in this garden. You could even make it into a farm if you really wanted. But um, yeah, I just. They're not stained glass, uh, they're not very big either, but just to give it the place a bit of light, natural light, which obviously is good. So now we have finished our Roman house. And uh, we can do the rest of the uh, house before the end. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed and also subscribe to my channel by pressing the button. Comment with any questions because I will answer them all and I will see you guys next time.